Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, Brad, we're going to talk about the McKenzie method for treating your own knee pain. Now, mm. we've talked about Robin McKenzie a lot because he's been very our, our mentor mm. <laughs> uh, with back pain and neck pain, but he also gets into the extremities, and this method is really actually very successful. I just used it on my wife. She thought I was a genius, and I go, McKenzie's a genius. Because your uh, wife thought you were this is good. Yeah, this is good. This is a <laughs> good this is a step in the right direction. So uh, we're gonna go ahead right after we uh, do this introduction here. Uh, there the, you go. By the way, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also go over to Facebook and like us because it's a sad story. We as children were not liked. I think Brad was even spit upon. Oh, so Bob, we, we're trying to turn Bob. things around. <laughs> All right, so let's start off with the first one, Brad. Um, th the first thing I want you to do if you're having knee pain is I want you to compare the range of motion in the knee that's affecting you to the other knee, the, the, the better knee. Right, see if they straighten out the same and see if they bend the same. Yeah, so, uh, you know, let's say this is my, well, you might be better at this, Brad, than, um, than I would with your white stripe on there. Yeah, I just, and my wife just got these, Bob. What do you think? Yeah, I like them. Then we can see, uh, yep. we can see some motion a little better than with our drabby uh, demonstration black pants. pants. So uh, this, you can see, you know, is the knee going perfectly straight or is it not get fully straight? And sometimes it's, it's hard to tell. It may be like this for a long time and you're used to it. Um, so you may compare it to the other knee. Let's say this is the one that goes straight and the other one you can yeah. see. It there. just has a slight, and sometimes it's just very, very slight, right. but if, you, if one is, is raised compared to the other, mm -hmm. it's tight. Right. And then you can also do the same with bending. You can pull it up. Right. And, and, you wanna, and sometimes it's a feel, isn't it, Brad? Yeah. I like to do this one laying down because you can relax, and you can kind of good idea. see if your, you know, how close does your heel get to your butt on this side? You know, like here I can get it to touch, but say on this one I get this far and I get a gap here. It's very clear. You know, that could be one of those measurements that you And, and again, use. sometimes it feels tighter. You right, I mean, yep. I mean, you can just tell, so. Perfect. So the whole idea here is, you, there's, McKenzie has like eight, nine exercises. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea is you're gonna try to find the exercise that actually relieves the pain. And, and this is what you wanna look for. If it feels better while you're doing it, mm -hmm. and after, obviously that's a good one to do. Right. Is it true also that the range of motion improves with the exercise? Right, and and if you get even a slight improvement in range of motion in your knee, a lot of times that'll result in decreased pain. Mm -hmm. I, mean, it'll, yep. I mean, comparatively. They, they work together often. Yeah. But the other thing is, let's say it hurts while you're doing the exercise but feels better afterwards, that's still the correct exercise to do. Okay, so that you stretch, ow, ow, you stretch it 10 yeah. times, but then you get up and walk around and say, oh, oh that helped. clearly feels better, yeah. then it's okay. So the third scenario, of course, is the pain, hurt. it hurts, increases while you're doing it, and it hurts afterwards. No, that's not a good need. Take that exercise and get yeah, rid of it. We're going to toss that one. So it's kind of, you know, you can start off, uh, we're gonna, you can start off, try number one, and if it works out fine, and, and it kind of hits a plateau, go to number two, number three, number four, and it's kind of a progression here. Sure. So the first one is real simple, Brad. You're going to just do active knee extension. So you're going to be in a chair, and you can go ahead and just straighten the knee out, hold it for five seconds, and then relax. Hold it for five seconds, and then relax. I can see with this, I'm on a stool, but I would be more comfortable if I had a chair, upright chair with armrests, so you have some support like yourself. So. Exactly. And you can also do this. Um, I didn't have this. I wasn't prepared for this, but I'll take this instead. You can put a roll towel underneath your knee. And, or a coffee can. Oh, here, and Bob. They're, they're never, <laughs> they're never going to see that. All right. We've got a, We've got a big roll go. towel here that we just rolled up. And you can go ahead and do the knee extension this way. Sure. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five. And you can do, what, what you can do with these is you can do 10 of these, and you can do them every hour if you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, so if you're in the chair, it's really easy to do it in the office chair. And, and see, does your knee feel better at the end of the day or the next couple of days? Does it feel right. better? And again, follow the rules if it, if it feels good when you're done or while you're doing them and afterwards it's good or if it feels good after you're doing them. But again, if it hurts while you're doing them afterwards, you're, gonna, you're not going to do them yeah, every it's, hour. You're done with it then. All right, next one. Let's say that worked out fine, and, but you're still getting some knee pain. Let's go to the next one, which is knee extension with overpressure now. So overpressure. Now, yep, you can actually put your foot up on maybe another, a stool mm -hmm. or, I don't know, another chair would probably be too high, wouldn't it? 
it all yeah. depends on the flexibility of the person, but yeah, yeah it, it is nice to do this one, you know, on a stool that moves a little bit. Right, it, it chair, is, yeah. Because it, it allows the stool to move after you go straighten the knee. Chair. So we're gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put pressure, you can put, go above the knee and, and below the knee if you want, sure. or you can just go above the knee, and you're gonna go pressure on, pressure off. Pressure on, pressure off. We actually have you say the words because that tells you how long to do it. Right. And you're gonna do 10 of these. Yeah, and you can see Bob is above and below the kneecap. Yep. That's a good hand place. Now you can also do it without a stool. You can just go ahead and put oh. your legs straight on the ground like this and go ahead and pressure mm -hmm. on, pressure off, pressure on, pressure off. So then if that, if that works and you, it's do, again, you're doing better, the next progression would actually do it standing bread. So you can actually do it on a stool standing okay. like this and you're gonna go pressure on, yep. pressure off, pressure on, pressure off, or you can go like this okay. and pressure on, keep good posture in your back, right, try to yep. keep your back straight. This, this might be good to do in a stairwell because you this have- is exact, I was just gonna mention that, Brad, that's exactly what my wife did. She did it on a stairwell and she did this little variation I'm gonna show you right now. Okay. So she was on the, she's on the stairs, she was getting pain on the inside of her knee, so I had, I had her actually turn the leg out like this. You see how my foot is turning? Sure. Would you be better for this, Brad, maybe? Well, do you have whites on the bottom? Yep. Okay. Yep, I'm able to see that much clearer. So he's turning his foot out a little bit and now he's doing the pressure on, right. pressure off. And again, see, see if it bends a little or straightens a little more, feels a little bit better. If it does, that's the option or that's the, the modification. We could go this and way And you can too. go internal rotation too. So right. you can see this in this case, he, he turned it in. Again, you're gonna experiment. You're right. gonna see which one works, which one works for you. In my case, this feels much better. You know, I don't have a knee problem, but you know, it would be a good Right, example. and that's a good judge right there to tell. All right, the next one is gonna be knee flexion. So okay. now we did all the straightening, now we're gonna try some knee bending. And you're gonna start with that seated. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and grab your ankle like this, and you're gonna to pull towards you, and again, do the pressure on, pressure off. Pressure on, pressure off. Now does it matter if you put your hands here or more up here? Do it's you... better to the ankle because you're really gonna get the squeeze. Yeah, a little you more know, leverage. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. get more leverage. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I imagine some people might have trouble with that, Brad. I right. Mean, I don't know if we can use the stretch out strap for that. Yep, it's here. You can so, use that. Yeah, you know, we, we recommend the strap a lot of times just for stretching overall. And what you could do is you could get down here and you can get, and now you got loops and you can sure. pull it toward you, yeah. if you if you're having trouble. If you didn't so, have a strap, you can use a towel. Towel's a little harder to hold on to, but it works. Yep, works out good. So that it's gonna be the same thing. You can do these. All these you can do every hour if you want. Obviously, you probably won't be able to, uh, but you can do it up to five times a day. Then right. maybe you know if you, if you can't do them every hour and ten repetitions. So is, you, is this one we can do a little rotation on too? Um, I don't know that he mentioned that, but I bet you why not? I mean, yeah, we're, if, if we're changing follows, the rules right now. Right. Well, if it's one of those things, if you do it and you get more range of motion and it feels better, it we'll, feels call that, we'll call that the Heineck method. Yeah. There yes. you go. So um, then after you've done it in standing, you can also do it, of course, uh, on a chair. You know, you can go ahead and do it like this and stretch forward a little sure. bit like this. Sure. And then, and then even, believe it or not, um, oh, I, I, I forgot to show the one variation, Brad, with the towel. Yep. Uh, even when you're seated or when you're uh, standing, you can actually to get a, put a little more leverage you put a rolled towel underneath you like this mm -hmm. and go like this. Okay. It's just gonna put a little bit different force on the knee. Right, right. And so you, you might even try this variation. It's actually gonna gap the Gap the knee a little bit, mm -hmm. I agree. And you could do it standing like this too, where you would put it underneath and you know, go forward a little bit sure. or, or read forward. They even had people, you know, doing a little bit of this, Brad. Going back onto the knee if, yep. they, if they, they want to try that. As long as it responds properly. It feels Correctly, good right. while you're doing it and when you're done. So after, that's basically all the range of motion ones. Now they wanted you to start some strengthening too. Okay. And this is one that they recommended, Brad, is that they said you could go up, take your, your chair up to a door. Mm -hmm. So the door would be like this. You're gonna be the door, Brad. Here, if this was like a door, yeah, uh, and I'll grab the handles 
uh, the, the knobs, door knob, and yeah. that way I could lower myself down. You know, I mean, it's not with as control. Much, with with control, sure. And then I could also pull myself up. Right. So it's giving you a little bit of a relief off the foot, and I would try to keep your foot, your knee again around 90 degrees as yep. opposed to bent greater than 90. Uh, so make right make angle. sure you're wearing footwear so your feet don't slide. Yep. And you make sure the door's going to hold you. Yeah, a good, strong, solid strong door. door. So, mm -hmm. All right, the next one, Brad, is you could just do some squatting without the door, of course. Yep. Um, you know, we might have something though. Yep. So for balance, you can hold the cupboard, and we're just going to Just some through. shallow squats right. I would do. One, you know, so it doesn't irritate the knee. You know, if, if your knee's sore, this may be way too much, but we'll start shallow. Good posture with the upper body, not, not all hunched I, over. I have to be honest, Brad, I, I really like the ball on the wall for this. Yeah. I mean, do you mind showing this? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I got are laughing at all? Oh, on one of the comments, some of one of our viewers is saying, you were doing this and you said your wife just loves doing these and you like to watch her do it. And he says, <laughs> I did say the, that. Something to the effect that, it was funny. Okay. You gotta, <laughs> so I like wa watching yeah. my wife do the exercise. Well, I think the idea was maybe you should be doing them too. I'm not oh, sure. <laughs> so, but uh, like, are you getting stronger because you're watching yeah. your wife do them? But anyways, we do read the comments. We just don't have time to answer them. Okay, here we go. Look at this. So, so you can really keep the, see right here, the knee is not going beyond the foot. Right, it's not here. Where is yeah, it? I got this right here. From Bob right. there. So he's not going like that. Yeah. Right. We, we want to get the foot out. out. Again, yeah. you have to have yep. shoes that don't shoes. slip That's on the That's why surface. I didn't want to do it today, because I got the slippery yep. shoes. And See? there we go. And then watch from this far. At the most, it, it's pain tolerated. If you get yeah. pain, then it's time to go back up. Yeah. If it's feeling good, you want to get stronger. Even then, you don't want to go past. 90 degrees in the knee, even if it's feeling good. Yeah, I, I have to be honest, it's almost worthwhile getting a ball just for that reason. Yeah. I mean, seriously, just oh. to do squats. Well, yeah, I and mean, you know me, Bob, I'm a big fan of the ball. Yeah, I know you do a lot of exercises on it. You can do some off the stairs, too. You can do what they call one-legged ones, where you can just step up to, from the side up to the, uh, up to the stairs. And they even had it where you're going off the, off the front of the step and back, but I don't really like that one, Brad. I just don't. I, yeah, I, I would. I prefer to do the side one. I, I think the big thing with this is try it again, Bob. Is the mechanics of the knee. Make sure. Well, how about I'll go off the front this way? Oh, are you are you going to be that way? The, it, the sagittal plane. Okay. We're we're looking at that knee stays over the toe and it does not go inward. What or I don't outward. like is see how much I'm bending that knee. Mm -hmm. I, I just I'm making an executive decision here. I'm not going to do that one. Sorry. <laughs> so. All right. Remember, everybody, we can fix just about anything except for. A broken heart. You got room to put it up that I'm high? I'm hoping maybe I'll put, put it, it down, down here. here. There you <laughs> go. Okay. Thanks for watching.